Hello, this is Vidya from What's Your Home Story. This is actually the second video, second time we're trying the same video uh, about the cabbage tunnel. So it looks like last time when I downloaded the picture, uh, the video to my laptop, I just realized that it was all blurry. So um, we built this tunnel uh, last time. So this time you'll see in this video that's already built out. Only thing we need to do is cover it with the netting. So um, just to recap what we did, we used a half inch PVC pipe. We kind of um, bent it in a U shape to measure the distance, the length, how long we need the pipe to be. So we cut three pieces of PVC pipe in that length. Um, you can actually get the detail of, of the um, the measurements that we use in the blog post in my blog post i will link it below so um, we attach the pvc pipes to these raised beds um, again we built all these three raised beds this is my vegetable garden and i'll add the link to my blog post on uh, how to create the diy uh, raised bed um, so we attached the um, pvc pipe to the bed um, using a u-shaped clamp and screws um we actually didn't screw it down we nailed it down to the uh, the wood because this is pretty soft wood um so this is the clamp that we used oh by the way these leaves that you see these are uh, garlic i planted them late november um these will be ready to harvest um i think by june uh, the leaves generally start um, looking yellow and die off that's when it, uh, you know it's ready to har harvest garlic um, these are all store-bought organic uh, garlic I just take take one clove off and then plant it out here and one clove goes into one plant so um, like I said we uh, did three U's with the PVC pipe and attached uh, another PVC pipe vertically uh, we cut it to the length of the bed and uh, the way we attach this is using uh, metal wire again this is coated in plastics the typical garden uh, wire that you get so this this vertical rod is mainly to give it more stability um, and i think the last two days we've been having pretty bad uh, high winds and this has been pretty sturdy so i think it has worked well so um, i have kale um, and i have um, added some seeds for broccoli as well as some russian kale this is the i don't know what the variety of this is the typical kale the russian kale has a bit more um reddish color and it's the leaves are a bit thinner and i i actually like the taste of russian kale better than the other one um, so this year i i usually plant uh, seedlings of cabbage um, unfortunately we are not been able to able to go to the stores and i didn't have any cabbage seeds so it's only broccoli and kale this year in this bed um, we are using a garden netting that we bought on amazon to cover this again the first time we bought it um, the length was kind of short so we ordered a second time we have the second piece hopefully that is long enough to cover the entire bed so again why are we doing this because last year uh, we had a really really bad case of the cabbage worm so it's a white butterfly that comes and um, lays eggs on the leaves um, we can only start noticing the bugs uh, or the caterpillars when we see when we start seeing holes in the leaves so last year literally like my kale was useless last year. So we want the cabbage worm butterfly to uh, stop laying the eggs. Uh, that's why we're starting this pretty early on in the season uh, and setting this up. Hopefully uh, this should do the trick. So we have covered the uh, cabbage channel with the netting that I bought from Amazon. I ended up buying two uh, two nettings. First one was um, not long enough. That was 8 by 10 feet. The second one was 20 by 20 feet. That also was not long enough. So I ended up um, stitching the two pieces together, as you can see here. So I think my recommendation would be buy uh, way more than you think you need. This is covered and we've used wood planks. Um, excuse all the mess out here we need to clean up we need to do a spring cleaning out here so this is just leftover wood, wood planks that we had we just um, kept them on top of the netting so that the netting doesn't fly away in the wind and uh, i'll just uh, remove the uh, wood pieces and pull the net up 
for harvesting the kale and uh, whatever is coming in here. So this is our cabbage tunnel. Hopefully this will keep the cabbage uh, worms away uh, and the bite butterfly, which is the uh, butterfly that lays the eggs for the cabbage worms. So hopefully this should help us.